Hey guys, welcome back to Tuesday Tips video with Percy and me, the one and only Kaylee Ann. We today are going to tell you about starting lawn seeds. Let's try to figure out how I wanted to say that. Yeah, starting lawn seed. Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, starting lawn seeds. Of course, it's just about that time of year where the ground's gonna be warm enough to start them. So, uh, basically, when you start lawn seed, you wanna kinda prepare an area, you wanna tear up the soil, cult make it kinda loose, so you basically cultivate the soil. If you're doing a big area, you're probably gonna wanna have somebody come in with a rototiller and really do the whole thing uh, that way. But if you're just catching up with some patches, uh, try and remove the old soil, uh, especially if you have like some dog spots. So remove the old soil, put some new soil in, make sure it's good and loose. And then basically um, don't plant the seeds any more than a quarter of an inch deep. And then on top of that, um, some straw would be a good way to protect it. Primarily from washing out if you get a heavy rainstorm or even uh, birds coming in and eating all the seed so that way you're not uh, investing more in seed than you need to. Um, so you want to spread it evenly and you don't want to go too thick or too thin. If you go too thick, uh, the grass will fight each other for kind of, you know, the space that it has to grow in and you'll have a lot of waste. But if you go too thin, you'll end up with uh, more weeds growing in through and that will be uh, more work. So, yeah. So I think a good uh, rule of thumb is uh, one pound will do about 200 square feet. Um, if you really wanna go um, thicker, one pound to 100 square feet. But a good, you know, even amount is one pound to 200 square feet. Uh, you could either, if you're doing a small area, just um, broadcast it with just your hand, just kind of spread it out with your hand, or uh, a hand spreader or even a walk behind spreader would work well in a, in a bigger area. Yeah, cover with straw or an erosion mat. And uh, oh, the other important thing is once the grass starts to grow, make sure you get good sharp lawnmower blades and don't cut the grass too low because that'll actually rip the grass out of the soil by the root. And then you're back to square one with having to replant. So try and try and keep it a little bit high at first till it takes root, uh, you know, part way through the season. And then again, good sharp blade that way you're getting a good clean cut and you're not pulling the grass out of the soil. So yeah, that's kind of the basics on that. Um, gonna need a lot of water, make sure the soil is good and wet when you uh, plant the seeds and keep it good and wet. That's why early spring is a good time of year to plant because we usually get a lot of rain in this area. So that's uh, another important thing to remember. And that's kind of the basics. We do have some uh, fertilizer specifically for seed starting. And we also have one that's early season that helps prevent uh, uh, crabgrass as well. So this is one of the products. I'm gonna try and get it right close to me so you're not see-throughing it where there's a lot of green labels and we got a green screen here. And then um, another one that's a good general all around. A little quick fact while he's trying to get that. Um, about 1,400 species of grasses are grown in just the United States. Yeah. Yeah, crazy different ones. Um, here we carry um, a cottage mix, a contractor's mix. The contractor's mix has a lot of annual in it. Uh, cottage mix is good for like high traffic areas, things like that. And uh, we carry a shady mix. That one kind of speaks for itself. It's for shady areas. And we carry a uh, conservation mix, which is kind of an all around seed. It's good for sun, shade, and uh, it does pretty good in poor soil. It's very similar to what they would use on the roadside ditches. Um, so it just comes in and it's good and hardy. So that's kind of a good option. So yeah, those are the four types that we carry. We sell it by the pound and we carry 50 pound bags as well. So yeah, and then uh, another type of fertilizer right here. This will help feed for up to three months, I believe. This covers 5,000 square feet. And then another handy dandy thing if you're just doing dealing with spots, 
in your lawn. Try and squeeze in close so we don't get the uh, green screen in here. Is um, an easy seed. This has got fertilizer, everything right in it. So again, I'd still say loosen up the soil, but um, it's easy to apply because all you gotta do is just add water and again, straw would help as well. But this is just, you just shake it out, out of the, out of the bin. And it's really convenient for little, little patches and uh, touch up stuff. Anything bigger though, I'd, I'd buy it and you know, broadcast it with a spreader or whatever. So yeah. So the stuff you just shared, there's all kinds of different, like, uh, not brands, there's all kinds of brands, but different names for things. So for the early spring, apply Green Up Plus, Crabgrass Preventer, and Magical on the same day. And then late spring, apply Green Up Weed and Feed. And then summer, apply Love Your Soil. And fall, apply Winter Survival. So there's all kinds of names. Do we carry on? Currently, I have this in stock. So we only have this in stock. And I should have the green up weed and feed, um, the one for early spring as well, so, in stock. So that'll so be coming up. So we currently only have one in stock, but we will have green up weed and feed in stock pretty soon. Yeah, by the time this releases, we should be pretty well stocked up on all that stuff. So that'll be good. Hey, guys. Kaylee Ann's little fun facts of this video and this is about grass and whatnot. So, grasses make up about 26% of the plant life on Earth. That is a lot of percentage. By weight, turf grass is 75 to 80% water. Varieties of grass grow on all continents, even in polar regions. A healthy lawn can increase a home's value by up to 20%. So do not sell your house with a rotten, grass looking gross thing. Always keep your lawn up to date. It will be looking good. And you probably would have never guessed, but 6.26 million kilometers is Russia. And that's how much grassland they have in it. Like for us in the United States, they have 3.38 million kilometers of grassland. 3.17 million in Canada of grassland and 3.92 million in China. All right, so now we're gonna get to our fun items. Yeah, random items of the week. Um, my first one is not so fun, but kind of fun. Spray, wear, spray Way, world's best glass cleaner wipes. So we carry the glass cleaner foam stuff, but we also carry the wipes. So you can clean windows, windshields, mirrors, glass tables, and more. And that's quick and convenient. It's already ready to go. The Windex, we carry the glass cleaner foam. We carry about everything. But these are pretty quick and easy. You can just swipe away and you are done. All right, what is your fun item? All right, so a couple of random things that you may not expect the hardware store to have. Um, we have some inspection mirrors. So if you're trying to see something, especially working on a vehicle or something, it's a little mirror on a stick. That's a little one. This is the big one, so a couple different options there. And then um, I have one other one as well, but I'll let you do yours too. All right, and my other one isn't too fun either, but it's okay. Um, they're called pain cakes, the cold pack that sticks. Um, chill, peel, and stick. Re-stick up to 100 times. And the last one, if you are using an inspection mirror, chances are you drop something and you can't quite get it or see it. So we have the handy dandy little grabber and that's to get into little spaces that you wouldn't normally get into. Again, if you're working on something and you drop something, the little grabber will pick it up and we have the inspection mirror to kind of see what you're grabbing at the same time. So a couple neat little things you wouldn't normally find everywhere. I think inspection mirrors might be kind of common at a hardware store, but the, the pickup tool may or may not be. So just random things that we have that we'd share. And probably pancakes aren't a common thing to be at a hardware store. These may be, but these pretty handy. This pretty handy. What a deal. So that's kind of a quick uh, video for this week, but we appreciate you taking the time to come through. Thank you guys for coming by and watching Tuesday Tip video. If this is 
morning, afternoon, night, evening, whatever it is. Thank you for coming by and watching us. I hope you got something out of it. If you didn't learn anything, and at least you got a laugh out of it. And make sure you take care of your lawn. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share to all your friends and family so they can watch us and watch our little funny videos. All right, so until next week, we'll see ya. Enjoy it.